Here's a problem dealing with portfolio weights. Um, we've also got um, a, a year of portfolio returns, and so we're gonna see how the weight changes from um, one year to the next. So just real quickly by way of review, remember that a weight, and so here we'll just call it a weight for stock A, is gonna be the dollars in that particular stock, so dollars in A divided by total dollars in the portfolio. And so this is gonna apply in year zero, so that's when we start. It's also gonna apply in year one. And so let's just uh, put down some information that we have. So let's start with year zero, and uh, we're gonna have stock A and stock B. So in year zero, we're gonna have an equal weighted portfolio. So there's gonna be $4,000 in each of these stocks. Okay, so down below, if we wanna track our weights, we have WA and WB. Those weights are 0.5 and 0.5. All right, so let's think about what happens in year one. Over year one, we've got a return of 14% for stock A and a return of minus 1% for stock B. And so to see what happens to the investment, uh, we're going to multiply by 1 plus R for the year. So we're going to multiply by 1 plus R. And so for stock A, 1 plus R is 1 plus 14%, so that's going to be 1.14. Multiply that. And then for stock B, since R is minus 1%, 1 plus R is 1 minus 0 0.01 or 0.99. So we're going to multiply there. And when we do that multiplication, we'll get to our year one values right and so critically here uh, we note that neither stock pays dividends so all of this return and all of this return is in the form of a capital gain or loss and so everything that we're doing here is going to work just fine so filling in the table here we have four five six zero for stock a and three nine six zero in stock b All right so let's just uh, pay close attention to these numbers notice that for stock a this number is bigger than the starting number makes sense right it had a positive return for stock b this number is smaller than the beginning value also should make sense because stock b had a negative return all right, one other calculation we'll do before we calculate the new weights. Uh, let's add these uh, two things up so we'll see the total dollars in the portfolio after, um, after year one. Okay, this portfolio is going from $8,000 to 8520 And so just as an aside here, what's the portfolio's return? What's the portfolio's return? Well, it's just the percentage change in value from this point to this point. So R is equal to the value at the end minus the value at the beginning. And of course, if there were any dividends that went on, we'd add the dividends in as well, but there aren't. So we've just got the change in price, change in total price, and we'll scale that by 8,000 which equals what? 0 0.065. This portfolio had a 6.5% return. So we got positive here, negative here. Since it was split between the two, um, the, the, the portfolio return is gonna be somewhere between those two numbers, and it is. All right, so back to the main problem though. So we were trying to calculate what the new weights were. All right, so to calculate our new weights, we're just going to go over here 
and use the same types of numbers uh, once again, except we're going to use the updated values, right? And so since A went up in value and B went down in value, nothing else changes. A is going to increase in weight and B is going to decrease in weight. Takes up more of the basket, if you will. So the weight in A, the new weight in A, is the new dollars in A divided by total new dollars. And the weight in B is the new dollars in B divided by the total new dollars. So that's 0.5352. And here we have one minus that, or 3960, divided by 8520, which is 0.4648. So there are our final answers.